Hi, welcome to SIDS Tips. Thank you so much for joining me today as I talk more about this wireless system by a company called Zigscene. I think that's how you pronounce the name. This is the Atom. Comes with one receiver, one transmitter. Very cool when you want to do video, you don't have to worry about having wires going from your camera or your phone uh, to your microphone. And so we're gonna dive in. I'm looking forward to demonstrating to you this both inside as well as outside. I'll give you my unbiased opinion, even though they sent it to me. And of course, you can always click on the link down below where you could learn more about it, see what other people have to say about it. And if it makes sense, you can order it. If you find this video of help and it adds value, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and love to subscribe to my channel, then click that subscribe button. And of course, the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos when they come out. So let's first talk about what's included. So you get one receiver, one transmitter, very lightweight, nice and small and easy to use. And we'll demonstrate that to you. As far as a case, this comes with a nice leatherite case. Uh, it has a foam section with everything in there and you've got your top mesh pocket. It's got a zippered closure and then you've got your strap for your wrist strap for carrying that with you. Uh, it's nice because it's compact, not too small so you could take that on the go with you. Then for charging, you've got one cable. It's got two connection heads and which use type C and that goes to the USB connection there. Then you've got a mini tripod, which is very nice. It has uh, a ball joint for moving and then you can also even take the adapter piece off and then connect that to a tripod. So it's got two different places for the place where you can connect to a tripod. Then you've got your connector piece for your phone and then this has got a rubberized piece on top and bottom. This is felt and then this also comes with it. This is a cold shoe mount that you can use for the top of your camera or you can use this uh, here again for the mini tripod. So you could put that on the top or the bottom. I'll put my phone on in a minute. And then next up you've got two cables, one for your smartphone, which is the gray and then this is for your camera. Now, if you have, for example, like I've used a Google Pixel 4 XL, you'll need a type C adapter piece and then this goes right in there and then this goes into the phone and then it recognizes it as a camera. If you have another uh, phone and you've got a headset jack, then you won't need it. And then again, you have the other one for a camera. So you've got both there. Then you have two windscreens. So with the windscreen, and we'll talk about that. You want to be careful for it to go on uh, because you can use the transmitter as a microphone only without having to use the wired lapel microphone, which also it comes with. So it comes with a nice long one and that also has a windscreen on there. And this tucks right under your shirt so it's long enough so it gets out of the way. One of the things which I wish it did with the connector is that this just adjusts. So depending upon if you're wearing a t-shirt or in, in my case, a polo shirt, that this can adjust, uh, you know, up and down. Uh, you also have the user manual. It's got, you know, all the information for the most part that you need in there. A little bit on the small side, but you should have all your bases covered there. And then of course your box uh, there, uh, and it does, give you some information, talks about the fast charging, built a microphone, 2.4 gigahertz transmission and real time monitoring. So there you go. Uh, battery endurance, by the way, we'll talk about that now, uh, it, and, and the battery life. So it takes, give or take, within a couple hours to charge. I don't know exactly how long it, it is, what the specs, I couldn't seem to find that, but you get up to six hours of charging. Uh, I never ran out of battery life. And so it lights up red when charging and then when it's done charging, it turns off. So very easy. The charging port for both are right there on the side. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the specs and then we'll dive in. I'll show you how it can set it up uh, with the mini tripod with your phone. So again, it's got a 2.4 gigahertz, five level gains and I'll demonstrate that to you. Six hours of battery life, omnidirectional microphone and a 10 minute auto shut off. So those are some of the specs that you should know, but I'm sure what you really wanna hear is the sound. And there's also chapters, by the way, so you can go directly to that. 
All right, now let's go ahead and let me show you how this sets up on here. So you could put your phone like this and then you can put the receiver. You could put that right on top like this. And then, which I had mentioned, so what I'll do is I'll hook the adapter piece to my phone. This goes like this. And then this goes right uh, here. And then you are good to go. So awesome. And then now you're ready to go shooting. Now let's talk about for powering on. So as you can see here, you press the power button, hold it for a couple seconds, it turns on, it lights on, up with a blue light. And then for the receiver is where you can adjust the volume. And that's where when it's at level one, it double flashes. If you raise the volume to level five, then it, it also double flashes. So then you know you've reached the maximum and the lowest level. And again, you can do uh, five different levels of gains. So that is that. And now I wanted to uh, talk about as well. Uh, so we've got this set up. Again, you could set this up on a tripod. So what I wanna talk about next is the windscreen and how to set that up. So you wanna be very careful. As you can see there, it's plastic on the bottom and there's grooves within the transmitter and that just, you do it like you put that in, the two grooves into the top slot and then you slightly turn it and then it's on and then you turn it the other way counterclockwise and it comes off. So those are some of the highlights, how to power on and also how to put the microphone on top. You want again, or the windscreen uh, on. And again, you just want to be careful because it really is, uh, this plastic here can, can break. So the good part is they give you a couple and uh, just, <laughs> I, learned the, I learned the hard way because I pushed it too hard. So now what I want to do is gonna demonstrate it to you both inside as well as outside with both using the wired lavalier mic and with just using the transmitter. And then we'll go outside, also a distance test, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, so now we're doing the test indoors using the lavalier mic initially, and then I will put on the windscreen. And what you're hearing now is level one. Again, this is level one. Now you're hearing level two, so this will give you a difference between level one and now level two. This is level three. Again, this will give you an idea at level three. This is level four, and this again will give you an idea on the sound at level four. And now we're at level five. This is level five with the lavalier microphone. Okay, so now we're gonna do the test indoors with the receiver and the windscreen only without the lavalier mic, and this is level one. Again, this is level one. Okay, now we're at level two. We're at level two, again, using the wireless mic with the windscreen. Now we're at level three, using the receiver with the windscreen only. Again, this is level three. Now we're at level four, again, using the wireless receiver with the windscreen only. Again, this is level four. And lastly, this is level five, using the windscreen only with the receiver. Again, this is level five. Okay, so now I'm outside, again, with my Google Pixel 4 XL, and I wanted to do the test with the lavalier mic on first, and then we'll put the windscreen on from an outdoor perspective. We've got some people speaking in the background. We've got some birds out here. We've got a little bit of a breeze. So this will give you a perspective from being outdoors. Now, currently, this is level one with the lavalier mic. Now you're listening to level two with the lavalier mic again outside doing a test with the wireless microphone at level two. Now I'm at level three. I am doing the test at level three with the wireless microphone outside. 
And now we're at level five, outside with the wireless microphone. Level five, we've got the plane up above, and we've got other surroundings with the birds and animals out here and people speaking. Okay, so now we're doing the test using the windscreen without the lavalier mic. We are at level one outside, again using my Google Pixel 4 XL. Now we are at level two using the receiver with the windscreen only. We are at level two. Now we're at level three with the windscreen only outside and this will give you a perspective using the wireless receiver with the windscreen without the lavalier mic. This is level four with the wireless mic and the windscreen only without the lavalier mic. Again, this is level four. And now this is level five with the windscreen only with the wireless microphone outdoors and this will give you perspective between one and five with the windscreen. Okay, the last test that I want to do is a distance test. So I'm going to start walking backwards. Now, one of the things, as you see, I start walking with my back to the phone and the, to the transmitter is that I'll start breaking up. So I will turn around. So what I have found, this works best in line of sight. So we're going to also do this at level three with the windscreen on. And here we go. So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I'm going to turn around as you probably heard it crackling up a little bit and that's what happens so again we're 17 feet from that from where I started I'm about six feet will give you a perspective so now I'm going to keep going we'll see how much it breaks up and then I'll turn around when I get to the end so we got 18 19 20 21 22 23 20. I'm turning around 35 feet from where I started and then a little bit further to the phone. And again, uh, this will give you perspective. And side to side and uh, we got birds chirping a little bit louder now. Now I'm gonna start walking back and there you go. This will give you an idea on the wireless microphone and how it sounds from the perspective of outdoors for both using the lavalier mic as well as with the windscreen. So there you go. That is the demo of using it outside as well as inside. You definitely can hear with the different levels of the gains. You definitely can hear the surroundings both inside and outside. And I think with Audacity, you can certainly improve on the audio. I wasn't blown away, but I think it's definitely a doable system. I don't know if it would be my go-to system for my videos, but I definitely see where there would be times that I would use it. So let me know what you think. Be sure to click on the link where you get more information. I hope, again, this video is of help and added value to you. And let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to your comments of your thoughts. And if you're using the system, how's it working for you? All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.